Okay, today um, I'm still sharing books. Two books. This is the haul for today. Two books. And then some uh, old pictures and some sleeves. And this is how I, 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 I received them. But I'm assuming it was a book or a couple books. You know, those books, they tear apart. So I guess people tried to save them and they put them in these sleeves. Okay, so the first book is um, 70 Lessons in Spelling. Cute little book. Let's see what the size says. At least it's not ripped. 70 Lessons in Spelling. And it's a cute little symbol on the back. At least the binding is not ripped. Has a beautiful signature here by B. Frank Taylor. I can't make out that. Something Station, New York. Lavington Station, New York. Such beautiful handwriting. Isn't that cal calligraphy? Yeah. And this is the book that you would, I guess, purchase when you were in school. It's a complete collection. Um, arranged for the use of business, colleges, academics, high schools, and C. I'm not sure what C stands for. And this is from Rochester, New York, 1887. This is a small book. Nope, I don't think there's any pictures in here. I'm just going to show you the alphabets. It's cute. Like capital, the upper part of a column. And or chief city or town. Money for carrying on a business, a large letter. Wow, necessary. That must be needful. <laughs> Similar to what we have today. Oh my goodness, the donkey is in ASS. Well, okay. They go right to the point. Birth. A coming into life. Offspring. Extraction. Origin. Hmm. Some weird meanings, but um, this was their alphabet spelling book. A vegetable, a plant or roof for the table. A plant or root for the table? I don't know if that's a good definition. A corridor, a gallery or passage, a gallery or passageway. Now that's a good definition for a corridor. Conspiracy, a plot. <laughs> It's more than a plot. It's a cute little book. And it's a lot of lessons. It's cute. I'm trying to see if there's anything at the back of the book. No. Okay. Cute little book. Um, I think I kept it. Um, it's just kind of unique. And, I mean, it has a lot of um, sentimental, you know, it's, um, 70 lessons in spelling and so this is what they were studying back then this is this has helped the uh, english language today this book right here because you know everything gets passed down from generation to generation okay moving right along and this says more morsis morsis school geography so it's about maps geographic maps and I don't know if the cover was dark like this originally or just got dirty over time but um, I guess it's just dirt and um, I should clean it but I don't know I don't want to ruin the book because it has some beautiful pictures on front I don't know if it's coming through it has a beautiful uh, binding a leather binding which is almost destroyed this book is extremely molded it's extremely molded. See that mold? Let me put something on the back side. Okay. 
And then you have a few people who signed the book. It's a whole uh, calligraphy page here, which is kind of disappearing over time. I couldn't even make it out. But it's a date, it says 1877. I'm not sure what all of that says. There's a whole lot of this at the, in the front of the pages. And there's more. And it says, um, New York. New York. I'm not sure what that says. Groups, maybe? New York Groups. Book, September 1st, 1877. I'm not sure. See? It's all corroded. And so I'm, this is similar to the front, but different pictures. That's a teepee. And then this is, this book is used for schools, like it said, for colleges and everything. And it was published in 1849. Wow. Published by Harper and Brothers, number 82, Cliff Street, New York, 1849. And this is the world of a polar projection. I don't know. I don't think there's any colorful um, pictures in here. I'm not sure. It's been a long time. This is the Western... Hemisphere, and then this is the Eastern Hemisphere. Wow, we have Chinese Emperor. All these things have changed. And what does that say? Russia, Russian em Empire, Chinese Empire. All of these have changed. South America. And then North America, it's kind of the same. And then this is North America. So if you're into map, these are really great. And what I love is that they have so many stories to tell of things and events that took place during that time. Map of Canada. Wow, you have the United States of America. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it from a distance. It's, everything has is totally different. I mean, they don't even call things territory anymore. This is really old. You have the Missouri Territory. It's just totally different these days. The Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, Atlantic Ocean. It's a beautiful map. I don't know too much about maps. I didn't really do good in history. I really, I was better in math and art and gym, things like that. <laughs> oh, wow, New York. Let me see. <laughs> That's interesting. You know, I was raised, born and raised in New York City. Well, I can't even read some of these words, but all of this is totally different now. I'm trying to see if I could see Manhattan, but maybe I don't think Manhattan was there at that time. Hmm. This book is so moldy. I wish I could do something. I'm not sure what to do to get rid of the mold. And I'm sure it's just growing, getting worse. Well, maybe not because I have it in a cool place, so it shouldn't be growing anymore. But, oh my gosh. It's not good at all. Okay, well, each page is kind of the same. Oh, it looks like there was a color on. 
I left the Pacific Ocean. We have Georgia and Alabama. <laughs> South America. Okay, I'm on enough of that book. Um, if these were colored, they would be so much, so valuable. I mean, they may have some value, but if they were colored, people would die for them. We have some more of that calligraphy writing on the back, too. So whoever owned this book, and that's from 1882, so that looks like the original owner. Mr. Greg, it looks like. I'm not sure. And this is the back of the book. It's a whole story on the back. I mean, like a, a really entire, they didn't waste any pages. The whole tribute on the back. More school geography. Wow. And great history in these books. Without those events, we wouldn't be here today. So it's very important. Um, Christ blessing little children. And I'm assuming that's Jesus. Nothing on the back. The people of Egypt. And a baby. Baby's eating good. Looks very healthy. Stephen Stone. Oh, we heard about Stephen Stone. Yeah. See, these came out of books. Um, Jacob in the house of Labir. Laban. Beautiful portraits, or drawings rather, Egyptian taskmasters. There's nothing on the back. This was a one sided book. And this one says Christ apparent to many Madeline, to Mary Madeline. These these women wait ate really good at some of these pictures. They look very healthy. I love the forest in the background. It's so beautiful. It's a beautiful print right there. It's gorgeous. Wow. This one says annual of rap uh rapper bear. I can't make that out. Rebelle, Rebella, I can't make it out, but whoever they talking about is she, because it's the arrival of her, arrival of Rebella, bah, something. Okay, was well she, is that a camel she arrived in? Oh, yeah, she arrived on a camel. See the camel's head and then his backside, and then there's another camel in the back. I guess they rode with her. Mouse smithing the rock. Oh, Moses smithing the rock. Oh, wow. These are some beautiful, beautiful drawings. Adam and Eve. Wow. And Eden. What? Look at that. Adam and Eve and Eden. Oh, we got to take a look at this one. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Do you see that forest in the background? It's to die for. It's beautiful. They didn't have clothes. No, that was the beginning. They had a leopard, though. And it looks like a antler. That's a beautiful one, too. I may need to frame some of these. The only reason why I have it, because there's nowhere to hang them up. My, I have enough paintings hung up. The sun commanded to stand still. Let's 
So many war stories. So many war stories. Death of Abel. Oh no. Ooh, it was a stormy night. See that uh, background? Ooh. Okay, that's it. Da David playing so Paul. I'm not sure what that says. Some of the language is kind of distorted or backward, but that's how they talked back then. It's a beautiful um, chair that he's laying in. Absalom strangled in the oak. Ooh. Ooh, like I said before, some of these are so horrific. Um, but what a beautiful uh, drawing. Just beautiful. Is that a man? Yeah. Wow. He got stuck in the forest. That's sad. And here's a paper. It doesn't look like anything's on it. Not sure why it was kept. Christ in the garden. Beautiful. Oh, look at the background. It's just gorgeous. The Annunciation. Annunciation. Wow. The angel. Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I couldn't be in there with all those lions. There's no way I would be petrified. <laughs> but he was just comfortable. The Good Shepherd. Oh, wow, this is one of my favorites. I have a larger uh, painting of this. It's beautiful. So this is what was on that cross. Remember that cross that I had? If you follow my uh, channel and you watch the, uh, the video on crosses as in jewelry, there was one with this. And so this is what it was, the Good Shepherd. Wow, because it was those same um sheeps in the back so now we know but i have a beautiful painting like this it's rolled up i have a lot of beautiful paintings that are rolled up I, there's nowhere to hang them so i have them rolled up the good shepherd i think i have one like this in my back bathroom too right i think i'm not too sure but i have a print in my bathroom yeah i believe that's there's a print in my bathroom too Okay, I guess um, the video is short, so I'm going to go get another book. Okay, this is a book on Talmadge's Life of Christ. So we'll take a look. At least the binding's not broke. Yeah, the binding's not broke. So when you're reading old books, you should put something to the side. That's not tall enough, though. Where's that pillow I had before? Maybe I'll just grab a book or two. Okay, that'll do it. Because you don't want the binding to break even more. And it has some molding issues, binding issues. You know, this is the way I... Uh, received these books and that in fact I cleaned them it would probably be more molded by now uh, let's see if we have a date no date on this page but um, it was published in Philadelphia by T. Dwight Talmadge well that was his name okay where's the date oh here it is Entered according to Act of Congress in the year 1894. I'm not sure what's special about this book. In fact, I guess I could have Googled it before I um, started filming. Um, 
quite pricey, I'm not sure why. A lot of religious scenes. Paul preaching at Ephesus. And this is Jericho of the day. Athens and St. Paul. Oh, how did they get shots like that back in the days? Um, wow, well, not sure how they did it. I know they didn't have any drones. Um, I guess they just sat there and drew it. Cause these are drawings. Oh, this is the Sphinx. And Dr. Tamaj did the photography. So that's a picture. That's a beautiful building. The Gate of Jaffa. Wow. Roadside Fountain and Tomb. Quite boring. I guess we won't do this book. It's kind of boring, but um, we'll show a few. Modern Scribes of Palestine. I mean, this is real religious. Look at this one. The Temptation. I thought it would be colorful pictures because I haven't looked in these books in so long. Repent ye for the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Christ as a boy in the temple. There he goes. And he was amongst all those elders. That's what made him so brilliant and smart and gifted. Talmaji's life of Christ. See, I don't know what Talmaji means, and that's why I'm kind of lost here. I need to Google that and maybe do this book again. Mary and Child Jesus. But I believe Talmaji means like before Christ. Beautiful. The shadow of the cross. I mean, this stuff, this is deep stuff. Mother of Pearl, Workers of Modern Bethlehem. Costumes of Modern Women of Bethlehem. Wow, beautiful, beautiful costumes. What was that? The Son of God Overcoming Evil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, like I said, this book is really deep. <laughs> the Angel Appearing to Zacharias. Um, this may be a book that I'm going to keep in my room. It doesn't have mold in it. It's just at the front cover. I'm going to keep this in my room and I'm going to read it. It seems just so in-depth and so important. And I don't know any of these stories. And this was... Is that a piece of here? Yeah. Let's go to the back and see if there's anything in the back. Oh, somebody spilled uh, something on it. I find no sin in the man. Oh, somebody spilled a lot of red. Oh, it must be some red dye. It's like all through the back. Wow. Is it still going? Oh, no. I hadn't even noticed that. They ruined the whole entire book. What was that? 
That's sad. Whatever it is, it didn't spread. It just stayed on the top of the book. Jesus appearing to Mary in the garden. Wow, this is a deep book. Jesus appearing to Mary in the garden. Wow, that's beautiful. My goodness. On the road to Emmaus. Jesus shows himself to his dis disciples. Oh my goodness. Uh, this book is blowing me away. This is it. This is it. This is the history right here. Jesus dispelling the doubts of Thomas. Of Thomas. Yeah. Oh, wow. I see why maybe uh, the book would be kind of expensive, but I don't think anybody wants to buy this book with all this dye in it. I didn't even know that was in there. That's horrible. I didn't notice it when I purchased it. At least I don't think I did. I think I got this in a lot anyway, so it was kind of a um, a bonus. The assistion. A session, maybe. Yeah. You know how you had an auction and you buy something and then there's a it comes with extra boxes and bins. This was in there, so. It's not like I paid for it, but um, wow, this is might be my favorite Jesus appearing to Mary in the garden. Okay, so with that, I guess we'll wrap it up. This book is a bit too deep for me. Father, if it be possible, let this cut pass from me. Okay, God bless. I may end the video here or grab another book. So I don't think I'm going to do any more books. I really didn't see any with a lot of pictures. I may have a few. I have to keep digging. They're not on that shelf, though. But I wanted to at least end the video, end the video by showing you a few more books. We're not going to go through them because I my mouth is dry. <laughs> I need something to drink and eat. And I'm getting a little headache. So, But I just wanted to show you um, some books that I have in my library. This is the records of the General Association Colony of Connecticut. It's a beautiful book. I'm just in great condition. I'm blessed to have these books in great condition. That's what it says, the Rikers General Association Colony of Connecticut. And that's in 1738 to 1709. So that information would be in this book. And I believe it was pop published in 1888. Great book. And then we have Business of Law. Business and Law is a really good book. It says Honest, Industry, what does that say? Pressure, Preservance, and Training. Business and Law. I have a lot of Business and Law books, especially like that big giant health book that I showed you that was on the floor by that, um, that mid-century case. Yeah. And what when it's what year was this made? Henry and Jenkins. I'm not sure. I mean, there's a date here, but that's the one for Boston. Well, someone actually signed this book. Oh my gosh, might be worth something. 1907. A. W. Pink. Is it A. W. Pink? Isn't that um? I can't think of it. I heard it before. I can't place my hand on it, but that's a important event that happened on August 27th, 1907. That's an important event. Wow. You know, when you have signatures on your books that make them valuable, I didn't even know that was there. Some beautiful pictures in here. We're not going to go through them. Maybe we'll go through one or two. If I can, you know, it's hard to get it to stop with one hand. That's Baron Rothschilds. He was a banker. So another picture. It's hard to catch them, but anyway, this is a really good book. Then we have this one. Bible readings for the home circle. And the binding's coming loose, but it's still intact. But so I don't even want to open this with one hand because I don't want to make it worse. 
I'm just going to try and see if I can get a date at the beginning of the book. Where's the date? I don't see it. It's a beautiful picture, the forbidden book. I don't see a date. Do they normally have the date on the phone? Oh, here it is. Copyright. 1888. Okay. Then we have this book, The Rise and Fall of the Slave Power in America by Henry Wilson. It's in great shape. I see a date on here. 1872. Wow. The pictures in here? No. No pictures. Just reading. You know, they made books like this years ago because uh, you know, the grandparents and the dad, they would just sit around and read those stories to their families. This is a standard history of the world. So it, This comes in volumes. It's sort of like an encyclopedia. I have a million more books. I mean, we could be here all day. I have millions of these old books, but I just put, grabbed the first ones on the first show I can get to. Socrates Beautiful. Life was so beautiful back then. Didn't look like they had a worry in the world. Oh, here's the date. 1928. It's not that old. Yeah. You can tell because it's different from the other ones. Okay, so with, I'm going to end the video. Hope you enjoy. And if I get a lot of views, I'll do some more. Okay, God bless. Thanks for staying to the end.